Hi, uh, what we have here is the limited edition book suitcase set for the 40th anniversary of Only Falls. This came out um, towards the end of last year. Really, it just came in a few weeks before Christmas, so a lot of people didn't really get a chance to put it on their Christmas list, if you like. I uh, just wanted to show you it here because it really, really is such a nice item. Probably one of the nicest things we've made. Um, first off, as you can see, it's presented as a suitcase. So, um, well, actually, first off, it's the weight of it and how substantial it is. I mean, the whole thing comes in just under two kilos. It really feels nice in your hand. Um, and it, it's presented as a suitcase, as I say. Um, so, like in, in true trot style, we've got all these relevant signs on the front. You've got lovely jubbly, um, Peckham Springwater, Peckham Echo, Alan Parry, Groovy, and then all the places that the trotters went over the years, Amsterdam, France, Miami. There's different places on the back, of course. You've got the Starlight Rooms down there, Benny Dorm, Mansion Oval, um, Hull. It just really makes a nice nice item, I think. It really displays well. And it's probably one of the nicer boxes that we've done. It really feels substantial. I don't know if any of you have got the Royal Mail box set. This feels more um, solid um, and substantial in your hands than that one. Anyway, but the Royal Mail one is great, of course. I just want to check out which way this opens. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've done it the right way, here you go. So, uh, first of all, it opens up, and inside, I don't know if you can see that, you've got the wallpaper background at the top there, and then we've got this kind of floating inlay tray, and the idea of it was to show you what inside a case would look like if it was Del Boy, so it's all the things that he sold over the years, the Peckham Spring, um, the, the Caravira statue, the back scratcher, the cat, um, Arthur's ashes, that kind of things. Trotters ethnic tours, triggers tro chopsticks there as well, and his medal. And look, uh, a Pekka Meko. So that's just an, a nice inlay. And then when you lift up the inlay, of course, you've got the book. We'll come to the book in a minute. Um, but first of all, the actual contents of the lid. You've got um, a really nice metal bookmark there. If you look closely, you can actually see Del Boy holding the actual book that's in the box. Um, so that's a nice little item. Um, second one of those we've done over the years. Oh, you have a packet of Polaroids there. These are all pictures from the opening titles. Um, trying to do this one-handed, it's not easy. It's quite a lot in the set. As you can see, uh, really nice photographs. All the scenes that we really, really know so well. Um, there's Del Boy ones in there as well somewhere. There you go. Um, yeah, it's the full set of the opening title pictures. Let me just put those to one side. And then the best thing in it, I think anyway, is uh, this is where the actual limited edition is numbered. So this is number 629 of a thousand. And it's an actual cutting of the wallpaper which I actually liberated in 2001, two and three. I got part of a roll and we've cut that up. I was on set at the time, uh, watching it being filmed and I managed to liberate a roll, as I say, that was an off cut. And we've cut it up to be part of the uh, inserts for the suitcase set. So everyone can have a piece of an original truck carpet there. And as I say, they're all numbered, so every everyone will get a different one this is number 629 um nice little addition and then as i say you you once you lift up the the little floating tray we come to the book itself so if i just take that out put that to one side um so the book itself is actually a different cover to the one this is the cover that it was potentially going to be originally the book when it came out um, and this cover didn't go ahead with the final one. The final one has that kind of gold frame on the front. 
but when I heard that this cut this cover was going spare I thought we'd use it for the um, deluxe edition got the 40th logo on there of course as well it's written by Jim Sullivan and Mike Jones uh, it's got a nice back I don't know if the back is different to the one that came out that was in the high street but the cover the cover is definitely different and I think definitely better and when you open up the book I won't show you all the pages to the book as you can see that on the internet anyway but it's it's got a um, different inside page there that's exclusive to this one and the book itself I mean to be honest I can't speak highly enough of the book Mike Jones and Jim really really did a good job on the book I mean it it's easily the most in-depth um, coverage of the show Mike has gone into such detail the production detail so I mean it's not just the story of Only Falls that we all know so well of course but this is the intricate production detail how the sets were built when they were built which part of the sets were carried over how many times the flat was used I mean it's all kind of stuff that you know the super fans really really go for it's uh, the, the research on it is is immense and it, it's obviously packed with photographs you want to seen before um, there's kind of two sections to the book you've got these blue bits that are written by Jim which are in character and they're really really good um, you know ca carrying on in the style of his dad um, they're, they're really really funny and, and insightful as well and then you've got the parts that Mike's done which are all the technical side of things and the actual lineage of the show um, and then if you couple that with all the pictures as well I mean it's just pictures in there you wouldn't have seen before I mean look at that down there and pictures of props pictures of costumes um, it's uh, such an in-depth book it's a must-have really I mean, look at that look at that boy there <laughs> These are not screen grabs, these are actual photographs that were recently discovered up at the BBC. Um, so there you have it, some nice bits in the back there, look. Um, I think we're going to be putting this on special offer, as I say, because it came in so late, we didn't really get a good crack of the whip at, at pushing it through for Christmas. So if you watch the website, there's, you know, we, we, we may, may well be doing a special offer on that. And just so that you know, as well, I mean, there's only about four or five of these left. We also did one in real leather. Um, insides are exactly the same. The numbers will be very low. There'll be numbers, I don't know, five to about 15. That's on the wallpaper cutting, really low numbers. But there's a leather version as well. Um, and that, that is actually real leather. And all these little motifs you would have recognized from the show as well. So there you are, do look on the site, see what special offers we've got going through. And that is the limited edition book on Only Fools and Horses.